the river that bears fruit. Another characteristic of rivers and of the Holy Spirit is that when He comes into us, there is a change in character. We said earlier that when the, the Samaritan woman met Jesus, there was a change in her nature. And I want us to read the scripture. It says in Galatians 5, 26 to 7, but the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Listen carefully. The Holy Spirit produces this fruit. Love, joy, peace, patience. Come on, you know it from Sunday school. Kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. There is no law against these things. You know what I found with the Bible, especially with the writings of Paul, is that many times he writes in a way that creates this image in your mind. He, creates in, he writes in a way that creates an image for us to understand things better. And the same as Jesus. When Jesus preached, he preached in parables. And when I read this message, I found it, I found it very inspiring that it talks about fruit. And I thought about my own life. I thought about my garden. As you know, I, I often preach about my plants. So here this morning is another plant testimony for you. I was in my garden uh, a while ago, and, and we've just planted some new things. And, and, you know, I often go into my garden, and, and I like to pray. There's a little square um, piece of baton, what do you call it, uh, cement area right in front of my house. And I like to pray there, and then when I pray, I go all around, all around. <laughs> and when I get dizzy, I know it's enough praying. Um, no, but I was praying there, and I always pray there. And then I look at my plants. I love to look at the nature and look at plants. And then I look at their leaves, and I look at their health, and I look at how they're doing, and I'm constantly inspecting my plants, sometimes too much, and I get impatient. I'm like, Lord, why is this thing not growing? Maybe more water. <laughs> and then, then I'm constantly inspecting. But a few months ago, we planted some new plants, and me and Megan had the wonderful idea of saving water. And we said to ourselves, we're going to save water, and we're going to get the water from our zinc and from our washing machine, catch it up in buckets, and then, then we're going to have more than enough water for our plants. And we thought it was the most amazing idea and very positive. And we were doing it daily, daily, watering the plants. And at first, it seemed like the plants loved the water. But sooner than later, the leaves started to go brown. Sooner than later, it seemed like everything in the garden was busy dying, and I'm hopeless, and I often pray, God, why aren't the plants growing? What should I do? What should I change? And it was as if God told me, stop giving them the dirty water. Simple as that. Stop giving him, them the water that's filled with chemicals, water filled with all the stuff that's flowing out of your house. Stop filling them with that dirty water. And sure enough, I said, okay, I'm going to stop. And I stopped watering them, and the month of December came, and a miraculous thing happened. It started raining. The water from heaven fell down on my garden. The old leaves had fallen off, and small leaves started growing again. My garden started to get life again. And the miracles continue a few weeks later after the raining and the leaves came back. Flowers start to grow on my plants. And I was like, wow, Lord, this is amazing. And I look at my plants and I'm like, thank you, Jesus. And what I got from this and how it connects to the river that bears fruit is that when you pollute your own heart with the wrong water, nothing will grow. Amen. If you pollute your heart with everything that you hear from outside, if you fill your heart with all the, let me say, nonsense that you hear in the world, all the influences, advice, all the role models that you have, all the successful businessmen that you follow, if you keep on filling yourself with what they say and what they think, guess what? You will never have a tree or a plant that bears fruit. You will never be the Holy Spirit type of plant, if I can say it like that. God wants to flow in you. He wants to restore the soil. And you know what? It's amazing. When you go deep into this image that Paul creates here, if you want something to grow, you need good soil. Hallelujah. You need the fertile soil. In the Bible, it also says seed falls on the ground, sometimes on the stones, and sometimes in fertile soil. That's when it really grows. See, the Holy Spirit is constantly telling your soil. When you read the Word of God, it's telling you. It's changing you. Changing your very core. And then inside of the soil, God plants seed. 
the seeds will only start to grow. The seeds of purpose will only start to grow. The river of living water starts to flow over that. Before you know it, you'll become a pleasant sight to the people around you. Amen. You'll start to bear the fruits of love, of joy, of peace, because the rivers are constantly flowing into your life. It is not a dry God, and the river flows through you, and you start to bear fruit to the people around you. You know, and the amazing thing is, and I said it, that the rivers are a constant twofold ministry. Firstly, God ministered to us. Let me tell you, it's nice to have peace in your life. Hallelujah. You, we need peace in our life. It's nice to feel the love of God in your life. It's nice that God has patience with us no matter how many times we go astray. Hallelujah. It's nice that you have self-control to say no to the devil. You see, that's the first level of ministry. But after that, you start to bear fruit. You start to have love for your wife again. Wow. Do you know that God will give you love for your wife? <laughs> Amen. Yes, God is the source of love. He will give you renewed love for your family again. He will give you patience for your children. Hallelujah. He will make your gray hair less and say, I give you more patience, my son. He will give you peace in your situations, in your household. You see, the fruit ministers to us and it ministers to the people around us. When the Holy Spirit flows through you, my friend, the living water comes and He renews you. Amen. Are you excited this morning about this? Do you need the fruit of living water to bear fruit? The water, sorry. The rivers of living water. If you do, give Jesus a praise in this house.